Hello guys, привет всем, здравствуйте, добро пожаловать, привет, привет. Today we're going to be watching Basic Instinct, and uh, this movie was on Patreon poll, and it didn't win the Patreon poll, but it came kind of close, it was in the top three, and I wanted to watch this movie for so, so long, so I thought, hey, let's watch today. The poster does seem mm, hot. I also looked at the cast and I was glad to see that Michael Douglas is going to be in the movie and as you know I'm a huge fan of Marvel so I've seen him there a bunch and it's nice to see him again in something something completely completely different. I also saw that Sharon Stone is in the movie and I guess well Sharon Stone is so popular, she doesn't need any introduction, a reminder, right? Everyone knows who Sharon Stone is. I also did recognize a few other people which I saw in movies or in TV shows, but I only wanted to mention these people before we start. Not, not to prolong my introduction. You guys said that this movie should be very interesting and my friends were saying it as well, that I should definitely watch it. So, let's go! That's a great start of a movie, hey? Naughty, first of all. Second of all, great choice of a bat for this kind of stuff, right? A screwdriver, a screwdriver! Oh my god, right in the army! He just asked for a rough set, so... There it is. <laughs> I know I shouldn't laugh, but it's just... It's a, it's a very intense beginning and love makes me feel a bit more comfortable, right? Johnny Boz. Mid-60s, he had five or six hits. What's the chief's office doing here? Observing. At least he died doing what he loved. What was it? Ice pick. Left it on the coffee table in the living room. He got off before he got off. Ha ha ha. I don't want any mistakes. Always a pleasure, Captain. To speak to him, Miss Catherine Tremell, please. Well, Catherine Tremell is loaded. I think if a person Save has a me. statue, just a moment. At the entrance, the person is very, very rich. Sorry to bother you. Just got a couple of questions to ask. Is he dead? Well, this is not very. You're looking for Catherine, not me. Who are you? Roxy. What? Roxy, do you know where your friend is? You know how in some movies they like have this huge build up about what's gonna go wrong, you know, who is who. Here is just like street. Okay, the murder happened, sex happened, so now we need to find the murderer. The movie immediately pulls you in. Doesn't let you some time to adjust, to breathe, it just immediately holds your attention. Okay, everyone is very rich in this movie, as I understand, because it just, you go from big house to even bigger house. Oh my god. Miss Tramel? I don't smoke, but this would be a great place to smoke, you know? How was he murdered? With an ice pick. How long were you dating? I was f***ing him. About a year and a half. We had a drink at the club. He went home and I came out here. Are you sorry he's dead? I liked f***ing him. Honest. Honest. You can do this downtown if you want. Get the So beautiful. Oh my god. Yet she doesn't seem very devastated. How are you, Nick? Okay, everyone is gonna be hot in this movie, I see. My sex life's actually pretty shitty since I stopped seeing you. Start developing calluses. Oh, oh, like jerking off? <laughs> Haven't had a drink in three months. Coke? No, I even stopped smoking. Now, you till IA, I'm just your average, healthy, totally f***ed up cop. Yes. Yes. I still miss you, Nick. She doesn't just miss him, she wants him right here and right now. Well, we got 31 stab wounds, neck in the chest. The scarf was her means. I thought it was cocaine. There were minute quantities on his lips and penis. Catherine Trammell, double major, literature and psychology. Estimated assets, 110 million. Holy moly. Engaged to Manny Vasquez, former middleweight contender, killed in the ring Atlantic City. She published a novel last year under a pen name. It's about a retired rock and roll star. Well, this... Gotta write some suspicion. Suspicion. You know how she does the boyfriend? With an ice pick. What? Coincidence? Don't think so. Dr. Lamont teaches the pathology of psychopathic behavior at Stanford. The person who wrote this book is your murderer. You're dealing with a devious diabolical mind. What if it's not the writer? You're dealing then with someone so obsessed 
and an utter lack of respect for human life. Yeah, well, the chick has won 10 million dollars. Someone's gotta be obsessed with her, but... You're dealing with someone very dangerous. Come on, you know there's no case here. You've got no physical evidence. Anybody who read the book could have done it. True. She's got enough money to burn this whole department. It's yours. It's yours. Okay, try. I am, I'm in love with this house. I'm in love in all the houses that we showed so far. Isn't she lonely in this one big huge mansion? Oh, poor honey. We'd like you to come downtown to answer a few questions for us. Could I change into something more appropriate? Make yourselves comfortable, I'll be right back. Shooting accidental. I have the right to an attorney. Why would I need an attorney? I don't smoke. It won't last. Working on another book must really be something, making stuff up all the time. It teaches you to lie. Oh my god, well, that's a great way to start the interview. What's your new book about? A detective. He falls for the wrong woman. Okay, well, what knowing happens? that her previous book came to life, him. you know? Her phrases are bold. I mean, they are bringing her for questioning. She knows that the stuff is going on is very bad. Yet, she doesn't care a single bit. This session's being taped. Ms. Tramiel has waived her rights to an attorney. I have nothing to hide. Oh, wow, well, this is interview room? No smoking in this building. What are you gonna do? Charge me with smoking? <laughs> I think we're gonna let her smoke. There is a gorgeous woman. Five guys just staring at her, um, undressing her with their eyes. I liked having sex with her. I wasn't afraid of experimenting. I know what each one of them gonna be doing tonight. You gave me a lot of pleasure. You have a time up? No. I like hands and fingers. You describe it. Oh, yeah, he's wet. Writing the book gives you an alibi. Yes, it does, doesn't it? I didn't kill him. You ever use drugs with Mr. Boz? Sure. Have you ever f on cocaine, Nick? And we know that she's naked. It's nice. This is definitely going to be the best interrogation of them all. How'd you feel when I told you Johnny Boz had died? It didn't hurt. No. Do you like a cigarette, Nick? You two know each other? No. You didn't feel anything for him. You just had sex with him for your book. Mm. I'm a writer. I use people for what I write. She seems like a catch. Either she's telling the truth or I've never seen anyone like her. You cannot fool the machine. I know people that have done it. I see why she Thanks did an attorney. You know, attorney would be, ever be able to do it, what she did. Beating that machine can't be easy. You took a lie detector test after you shot those two people, didn't you? You see? We're both innocent now. You seem to know an awful lot about me. Betty came prepared. You know I don't wear any underwear. That's it. All of them are hooked. All of them. But wouldn't you be? Even I am hooked. Like, that's it. I would be just like, good old, you innocent girl. What is all this Nick stuff? Give me double blackjack and the rocks, please. She doesn't know me, okay? There you go, Nick. She passed the polygraph. That's it. What about her parents? Her parents died in an accident. Are you saying she killed her parents? Did she kill Manny Vasquez, too? You guys are very funny. <laughs> I'm off duty, Niels. Don't work too hard, shooter. Okay. Behind me, man. I'll kick your teeth in. I think it was a provocation, right? And it worked. Just in time to save her favorite patient. Oh, Marty. He's asking for it. That's right, so don't take the bait. You wanna go? Yes. Oh, look at that. But I think that he's gonna be f***ing her. He will, he's not gonna be thinking about her, right? Everyone is gonna be thinking about the blonde. Looks like she managed to awaken his a little bit rough desires what was she like who she didn't. Catherine Trammell she's not dumb mm -hmm. you've never been like that before you weren't making love I need a cigarette oh my god a drink rough sex cigarette Looks like Catherine did really screw him, even though he didn't do anything. Just few phrases. There was a murder in 80 with an ice pick. Get out to Berkeley, Harrigan, find out what else she's published. You see where she leads. Wow, well, that is interesting driving with two lines. How's the, how, what is it called? Like, you're not allowed to do that. That's 100%. And I can understand that he's a cop. Probably we're not gonna give him a ticket. But with her, though. And it's very dangerous on a road like that. It's, uh... 
I think I lost half of the words when I woke up today. Oh, no, oh, no, oh, that was bad. This is a total detective look, right? Where a glasses, cold, this blue shirt, tie. So, so detective. That's how I imagine detective would look like. Hazel. Okay, her driving skills. She probably saw or felt that she's being followed, right? I mean, he was right behind her. He dash though, but in the car. Oh, homicide? One dead psychology professor. He was her counselor. Hazel Dobkins. Three little kids. Nice husband. One day she doesn't even deny it. Sweet as honey. She did seem sweet for two seconds we saw her. Wow, okay. So appearance is can be fake. Oh my god. It's gorgeous. Gorge gorgeous apartment. Oh my god, this is Ice Peak, right? This is, it's not a screwdriver, it's Ice you Peak. You have something against ice cubes. <laughs> it makes sense. That's why it's called Ice Peak. Ice... How's it feel to kill someone? Ice Peak. It's an accident. I got a line of fire. You want to tell me about Professor Goldstein? That's probably where I got the idea for the Ice Pick for my book. Okay, that actually makes sense. Hazel's my friend. Well, your friend took out her whole family. But you know all about homicidal impulse. What happened? Did you get sucked into it? I don't know what you're talking about. The day you shot those two tours, how much coke did you do? You can tell me. Oh my god, she's just playing him so badly. And he's all down for it. I think you got too close to the flame. <laughs> I think he liked it. Oh my god, she's great, she's so good. Hi, Han. You two have met, haven't you? This is her girlfriend. Oh my god. Oh, she just got 100 times hotter, didn't she? Well, okay. I see what this movie was missing all along. Who's got access to my file? No, Nick, please. <gasps> it's Nelson. Wow. Only took one you second, you know, and one screen. my file. Back off, Karen. Duh. You are out. I'm You're out. I'm tired of being played with. You got a real conclusive way of demonstrating that. Yeah, right. <laughs> she's coming after me, Gus. But she's playing him though so hard. Beth, are you there? Go away, Beth. I still have my key. Put it on the goddamn table and leave. Damn it! I really hate you. Get yourself some friendly little therapist. What the hell? Well, but at least we know that his aggression is not really towards her, but... How could you give him my file? He was going to recommend your discharge from the force. Made a deal with him to review the session notes himself. Well, maybe should have changed the shink then. I care about you. I did it for you. But Please just that was my away. first question. Like, how can she even be his shrink if they've had some relationship? Even if it was just sex, yeah, that's not professional and that she is biased. What is this movie was playing on the background? Oh my, oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Is it a bullet wound? Give me your gun, Nick. Oh, it's a smell. It? If it smells like bullets, the, not the ash, how is it called? Don't forget to check out my Patreon for these exclusives. And now back to movie. Do you have any evidence that he showed your psychiatric file to anyone? No. Where were you last night? Home watching TV. Were you drinking? Yeah, I was drinking. No smoking in this building, detective. Oh, what are you gonna do? Charge me with smoking? Ha ha ha. Charge me with smoking? <laughs> Did you kill Marty Nilsson? No. <sighs> going after him before gets you off the hook for killing him. That's your alibi. You're going on leave, Curran. Well, at least we're not charging him with anything. I mean, we don't have any evidences, but... Beth! 
I'll get my stuff in a minute. That's still, that's rough. What was she like in school? I hardly knew her. Hey, take care of yourself. What'd yeah? you find out about the parents? Boat blue. Big goose egg. It was an accident. She killed him, Phil. She knew nobody buy it. Stay away from her. That's a great advice. But she is going after him, though. She's like this evil genius. Hot. Evil genius. Who is both into men and women. Good's a shooter without his gun. Why doesn't Gus like me? I like you. You want to go upstairs and have a drink? Pretty soon I'll know you better than you know yourself. I'm very unpredictable. Oh my god, that was great. That was good. Oh, and she, he's gonna do it with ice pick? Okay, so everyone in their houses have ice picks? I've never even heard of this thing. Kmart, buck 65. Because usually it's in ice cubes. I don't know anyone who would use ice pick. I didn't even know that it is a thing. So how much you pay Nielsen for my file? Isn't he the policeman that you shot, shooter? What Manny Vasquez used to call you. <laughs> Bitch, mostly. No! I just love Coke with Jack Daniels. Got a Pepsi in the fridge. But it's not really the same thing. Ha ha ha. Words play. What the f do you want from me, Catherine? Okay, we're purposely making the whole movie to be so hot. Like, oh my god, can I get some water, please? It's about a boy who kills his parents. They have a play and he makes it look like an accident. To see if he could get away with it. How's your new book? It's practically writing itself. I'll be at Johnny Boss's club. I'll meet you there. Oh my god, he's such a good friend. He's bringing him pizza. Oh, okay, we all need a friend like that. You know, at the moment of crisis, he comes in with pizza. She want to play. I can play. Everybody she plays with dies. Oh my goodness. It looks some underground club in a church. But people are so high and vibing here. Oh my, let the imagination do its work. Oh my god. And look for detective to be fallen for the wrong girl. Oh my god, it's gonna get even hotter, wouldn't it? Ooh, okay. I don't know how to finish the rest of the movie, you know? It's, it's, it's hot. And they really show in all the details, aren't they? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god, okay. Okay, why am I thinking that she's reaching for the... She wasn't, right? It's just the climax. Orgasm? Whew. I need a few seconds to breathe. If you don't leave her alone, I'll kill you. You like watching, don't you? I haven't even thought of that, but looks like it. Maybe she saw something she's never seen before. Oh yeah, because I'm just that good. Did you really think it was so special? It was a pretty good beginning. Did you join you and Johnny? Were you frightened last night? That's the point, wasn't it? You'll just fall in love with me. I'm in love with you already. Oh my goodness, that's getting so complicated. I've been over to your place. Easy, cowboy. Well, no need to tell, right? He's detective himself. Feeling better? I feel fine. You want to die, Hoss? I'm not afraid of her. Why the hell not? Well, he should be. Seems like she has a great hold of him, you know? Did a track on Lieutenant Martin, found a safety deposit box. You all right, cowboy? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Please do not drive in a condition like that. We haven't seen who was driving. Maybe it was Roxy. I see the girl, but I don't see who it is. But judging by the driving skills, it actually might be Catherine because fast and all the edgy. Oh, no, yo, yo, yo. Oh, Roxy. Looks like she saw something that she hasn't seen before. That's unfortunate. They were a really hot couple. I could never have this mental picture now. I told you to stay away from Tremel. You didn't tell me to stay away from the car. Oh my god, that's how you do it? 
They've been asked to consult with me on this psychiatric evaluation. Do you think Lieutenant Nielsen deserved to die? I won't miss him. <laughs> well, that's an honest answer. Insensitive, but they weren't honest. I don't remember how often I used to jerk off, but it was a lot. I don't look in the toilet before I flush it. I've wet my bed for a long time. I'm out of here. Well, that's not gonna help his, like, anger management, passive-aggressive behavior, right? I mean, he should have been nicer, should have played nicer. Why won't you let me help you? I don't want your help. She manipulates people, she'll do anything she I can. I thought you to. hardly knew her. You're a practicing psychologist. You're better at it than she is. She's also jealous. Because she said in the beginning of the movie she misses him, she wants him, right? She came to check over on him at his apartment. It and opened the door with her own key. She, I'm not gonna say that she's obsessed with him, but she does have feelings, so all of that must be disturbing her quite a lot. I should have known, I, she looked at me so strangely. She wanted to watch me all the time. She tried to kill you, didn't she? Wow, that looks like real emotions. They loved me. And he did. Then that they skipped this part though. I don't have luck with women. There was this girl. I slept with her once. She started following me around, taking my picture. Lisa Oberman. Another nice girl. How old was she when it happened? 16. What was the motive? She said she didn't know herself, just sort of did it on impulse. Just like old Hazel Dobkins fixed her old family. Yeah, you see a pattern. You ever met a friend of hers hasn't killed somebody? She got that magna cum laude pussy on her that done fried up your brain. He is just great with expressions. Sorry, no Lisa. There can't be a mistake. Only if you're making it, detective. Oh, whoa, whoa. But I mean, he kind of asked her if she's doing her job right, hey? Hazel, this is Nick. I told you all about him. You're the shooter, aren't you? Oh my God. <laughs> you know the Roxy was- Yes, of course I knew. There was no Lisa Oberman when you were at Berkeley. I said Hoberman. Oh my God. <laughs> She got pissed though, but it makes sense. She kind of opened up to him and he immediately went to double check. Oh my god! Oh my god! I thought the... I thought the name looked familiar, but I thought maybe she was one who... Oh my god! She is a stalker! She's a crazy stalker! She's obsessed! What do you want, Nick? Tell me about Catherine. I slept with her once in school. She's experimenting. She styled her hair like mine. She wore the same kind of clothes I did. Okay, well, who is lying? She said it was you. She's really sick, you know. I mean, did she tell you in bed, Nick? Oh my god! Oh my god! Those women are too smart. I don't know who to believe. What is who's playing? Who's playing who? Got married. What is going on? Who's telling the truth? Someone? She's evil! She's brilliant! Okay, honestly, I feel like. Catherine wouldn't be obsessed with Lisa, but I don't know. I wanted to surprise you. She said you even styled your hair like she did. I had to go down to the campus police and file a report about her. So who'd you say you're with? Homicide, San Francisco. Who's got it? One of your guys. Nielsen. Oh my god, he was that close? Are you serious? Nielsen found out about it, and that gives her the motive to kill him. You got goddamn Tweety oh, Birds fluttering around your head. Tweety Birds! Oh my god, God's your best. What's this? I decided to give you a second chance. Did you miss me? No. Why don't you come over here? This is so hot, she's never already wearing any underwear, so for her, very fast. Good morning. I'm looking for a Dr. Garner. Joseph Garner? Yeah. He died about five or six years ago. What was a murder weapon? Revolver, 38. Is it the same one that Nielsen has been, has been killed with? You know, one of your guys was down here from Frisco. Nielsen? Nielsen, yeah. That was oh it. my god, he was... Just right there in the, all that. There was some talk. Girlfriend? What, he had a girlfriend? She did. Oh my god, was it Catherine? This woman is too smart, but lies so well, I don't know how to, what to believe. His partner's dead body? Finish my research. I finished my book. Yeah? Goodbye, Nick. Well, she is great at using people. What do you want, flowers? I'll send you an autograph copy. We playing a game here? I think she, are over. I think she just won. And he's heartbroken. She's over in Oakland. Come on. She says she knows all about Catherine and Lisa Hoberman. It seems like he's not even listening. Hey, Nick. 
I'll be in suite 405. You're on leave, Hoss. Oh. Uh, take long. Okay, so he, but at least he took him alone, right? I mean, he didn't tell him afterwards. He actually took him with him. So that's great. That seems empty, but but we saw in a book where it's like a partner's dead body or something. So now I'm a little bit, a little bit, a little bit afraid of gas. And why does the elevator stop on each floor if there is no one in there? What did he see? What did he see? Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Too late! He should take him out of the elevator though. Otherwise the elevator would go like this. Ding, 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 ding of his legs. And this is just... Freeze! What are you doing here? I know about your husband. Is it like girls, Beth? Oh my god! Oh my god! What if she was just like having... I don't know. Means there. Did he... I hope he killed the right girl. I hope he killed the murderer. There was no gun. I have no idea how he's going to get out of this mess right now. This looks pretty bad. What made you think she had a gun? Lieutenant. What? What? I speak, of course. One of ours. SFPT. It was Beth, wasn't it? Oh, well. Yeah, okay, it all makes perfect sense. Unless she was framed. She must have heard you on the stairway and dumped this stuff. You just can't tell about people, can you? Can, right? Right? Do not judge a person by its color. Congratulations, Curran. Hi. Well, she was the one who said goodbye, so... Why is she, what is she doing here? I can't allow myself to care about you. Because everyone she cares about dies. I lose everybody. I don't want to lose you. Yeah, and I thought it's been 10 minutes without any sex scenes. Kind of missed one already. Why do I have a feeling that like she's gonna kill him? She did? Did she? Did she? Or it was just like... No, she just fell on him. Your brain is clouded when you're watching that many sex scenes in the movie. So I don't know who to believe now. Or if it's over or not. She's gonna kill him? Oh my god, are you serious? Are you serious? Why am I doing that to us? Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. She was the one doing it all along. My oh, Okay. I think that was one of the best movies ever made. And not just because it had out of two hours at least one hour was of sex in there, you know? But I would say that everyone is incredibly hot in this movie. I think it's worth mentioning 100%. The story was interesting. And you know how... how they, I don't know how to describe it. Like, the, I love so much all these like, detective drama mystery movies. I would say those are probably one of my favorite genres and types of movies. Especially from like 80s and 90s or 2000s. 90s or 2000s, I would think so. And in this one, everything was perfect. Like, up until the last second, you don't even know who is the real murderer, who is playing who, and what is going on. It doesn't happen that often, right? That the real answer you get on the last, literally the last second of the movie. Following this mystery, trying to find out what's happened, what happened, what's gonna happen next, who's gonna die, who's not gonna die, who killed who, all of that is to get forward together with incredibly hot people making out. So that's a win for everyone, you know? <laughs> so the movie was great. I would think that this is one of the best movies ever made. I don't know, it just feels this way right now. If you want to see my full reaction, follow my Patreon, the link is in the video and it also on the description. Also, please do not forget to subscribe, press like and let me know what you think about my reaction and if you loved the movie as much as I did. I also want to say thank you to my patrons and I want to have a special shout out to the following patrons today. Sundiver, Joachim Kilman, Lynn Anakwat, Alex Smith, Jensen KH and Kingpin. Thank you guys very very much and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.